everybody, welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to do an unboxing of the fourth item that I ordered from Macy's pre-sale. Yesterday I did an unboxing of three of the items and the fourth one arrived today. So I wanted to show everybody what I ordered and explain what I decided on the bags that I showed yesterday, what, what I'm going to keep and what I'm going to return. So let me just refresh everybody's memory about what I bought yesterday. I showed everybody, I unboxed this beautiful bag. This is the um, ca small Cameron. And this, I love it, but this I'm not going to be keeping this time. I'm going to reorder it another time. This is the Emily uh, crossbody and I'm not going to be keeping this at all because this strap is way too long for me. I know I can make another hole in the strap but I prefer the shoulder bag so I'm eventually going to buy the shoulder bag. And the third item, the third item I showed yesterday is the um, the Cassidy Hobo, and this is what I'm going to be keeping. Yesterday I mentioned that I saw striations on here, and I thought it was not organic. I don't know if it's picking it up today. Oh, there it is. Everybody explained to me that it is organic. It comes from the hides of stretch marks. And thank you everybody for telling me what it was. And I do, I did, I did fall in love with this bag in the course of the evening, walking around wearing it, and I love it, and I want to keep it, and I, I, I just love it. It's going to be my go-to bag. I'm going to keep my things in here, and I'm going to run out with it, you know, grab and go when it's not raining. I just want to tell you that I do appreciate what the animals give up. My husband is a direct descendant of Pocahontas. He's 16th generation. And from him, I've learned that uh, if you're going to, I don't believe in hunting, but if somebody does use an animal for purposes that we have to appreciate, appreciate the animal for all they gave up and not to waste any part of the animal because <clears throat> they gave it up for us. So I love this bag with its striations. It, it makes me just love it more. It's mine now. So today I received this box from Macy's. This is the last of my pre-season purchases. And um, if you'll bear with me, I'm gonna unbox it and share this with you. I, this is a beautiful bag. It's very popular and I, I checked the dimensions from Macy, on Macy's website and I compared it to Dooney's website and they're pretty way off on both the sites. Um, Macy's calls this the, um, they call this the medium Hattie, Florentine Hattie. Uh, uh, Dooney and Burke calls this the, just the Florentine Hattie. The others, the, the big one and the smaller one have size designations. So let's, let's see what this is and let's compare the, the measurements. Uh, Macy's, I have to say, always sends their, their um, pocketbooks really nicely wrapped and wrapped in manufacturer's packaging. And that's a, that's a biggie to me. And I am prepared with a scissor, which I had a difficulty yesterday, and I hope I don't have any difficulty today. This is, the style number is, let me get my glasses. The style number of this is 8L1058NA. This is a really nice size. I don't think this is extremely big. I thought I was going to go for a small, a smaller one, and maybe I still will, but I don't really think this is really outrageously big for me, actually. 
this is a similar handle to the one that I'm keeping, the Cassidy Hobo. It has this lock, the, I forgot the name of it, <laughs> uh, skipping my mind right now. This lock that turns around, one side is the white enamel, the other side is gold, and you could change it into your preference. From the reviews I heard, they said, don't change it too much because some people have recorded that it breaks. Just pick one side and stick with it, and that works for me. Because I, li I like the white side, because I like to see do the words doing it, so I'm proud of that. Up. It's supposed to soften up as time goes by, according to many of the videos I've watched on this. It has a, a beige color lining. That, I'm not sure if it's leather. People are calling it leather. I, I'm not sure what actually sure what it is. Some people call it leather. Some people call it like a micro leather. This way, I'm not sure. It feels, to me, it feels like and looks like leather. I, I would definitely call this leather. It has the typical Dooney setup of the back wall has a zipper and the plate and a slip pocket that is the, as the depth of my fingers, my four fingers. Some people saying it's not deep enough. This, it's this amount of depth. On this wall, there are two pockets which go down almost to the bottom, but not quite to the bottom vertically. One is more narrow and this is more wide. You could put a, a cell phone in vertically this way, or you could put it in horizontally in that slip pocket. It has a braided pull cord. It has the Dooney and Burke um, duck label. It has the Dooney and Burke embossed insignia, which says genuine Florentine Vachetta leather. Yeah. It's really a beautiful bag. This bag on it, at Macy's and on Dooney.com is both 398. Macy's is having a sale of 25% off, which would make it $100 off. And Dooney currently isn't having a sale, but I am anticipating that they will have a sale for Labor Day, and hopefully it's 30%. This is how the bag looks on me. I like it a lot. The leather looks very nice. I don't see anything wrong with it. I don't see any pebbling. It's just beautiful leather. Let's measure it and see who's right. I don't know if you can see. I'll just measure it and tell you what it is. The width of the, of the bottom of the bag is six inches. Dooney and Burke says it's six, the depth is six inches. Macy's says that the depth is eight inches. No, it's not, not Macy's, no. The height, Almost 12 inches. Dooney says it's 12 inches. Macy says it's 12 and three quarters. I don't know which bag Macy's thinks they sent me, but it's it is not. It is not. Almost 12 inches. It's six on the depth. 
and the width is, how would you measure, I guess you'd measure from the bottom, it's exactly 10 inches, from here to here, exactly 10 inches, and that's what Junie says it is, where Macy's says it's 12 and a quarter inches. Macy's, get with it. <laughs> you are totally wrong. Let me see how much it weighs, because Macy's says it's two and a quarter pounds. And according to my scale, which is absolutely right, it's two pounds, two ounce, two point, two pounds, 2.9 ounces, which is almost 2.3 pounds. So they're not that far off. Dooney and Burke doesn't give weight, and I wish they would because <clears throat> that's important. Comes with a dust bag. And everything of mine would fit in here, which is, I don't have that much, but it's very roomy. It's a very luxurious bag. I don't think I'm gonna keep it. I think it's a little big, big for my needs. Oh, it has the, the key leash. And even though it's a beautiful bag, I, I think it's um, a little big for me, really, for my needs. It, on it, I think it's okay on. I don't think it's too big for me on, but my things are gonna be slashing around in here, unless I just buy more accessories, which I might, because I was speaking to Nicole, who is the manager of the Seattle outlet, yesterday and I was asking her about accessories and I told her I wanted Greta's accessories. She said she heard that they are getting a whole new line of accessories. Now she doesn't know if it's Greta, she doesn't know what it is, and she, but she does know that the outlets aren't going to have it. So it's something new and exciting and we need new accessories because we'll buy them. And we need them, I need them with the DMB initials on them. So that would be great if it, if it was. So that's all I wanted to show you today. Thank you for watching. This is the Dooney and Burke regular size or just medium size Hattie in natural. And it's a gorgeous, gorgeous bag. It feels beautiful it, and it's light. It's not as heavy as it, it could be. Just looking at it, it looks a lot heavier. I know the Buckleys are 3.2 pounds. So this is a little lighter, not that much, but it feels lighter. And probably this, this handle will make it feel even lighter because the handle is wider and it, it'll, it's not, won't dig into your shoulders like some of the others do. And I think the Buckley does have a thin strap. Uh, I, even though I love the Buckley, it's the most beautiful, I think that's the most beautiful bag, but it's too heavy for me personally. But I love it on everyone else, and I'd love to see your videos. So thank you, everybody, for watching, and I will see you in the next video. And you take care, and I love you and appreciate you very much. Have a great day. Bye, everybody.